Hi, and welcome to another tip video for Excel users. Um, this one will apply to all versions of Excel from Excel 97 onwards. And it's to do with the format Painter. Uh, something I've covered before in my beginners series, but just want to go through a couple of things you might not be aware of. And one of those is how to format paint a large block of cells. For example, if I have two sets of data here, and I want to format them in the same way. I could do them individually by maybe selecting a cell there with the yellow background, click my Format Painter button, and then click and drag here to apply that yellow formatting. And then I might want to apply the percentage formatting to column G. So select the percentage format, click Format Painter, then click and drag down. Now you can see there it's a bit tedious because I'm doing it bit by bit and not too bad when it's a small block of data like this, but if you've got large blocks of data, it can get very boring. So I'm going to undo those format painter changes and just reset the whole thing. And what I'm actually going to do is select the whole block of data from A1 in this case down to C11. I then click the format painter and you'll see format painter is active and has highlighted the whole set there. And all I need to do now is simply click the top left cell in my new set of data. And automatically all the formatting is applied in one go. The only thing you have to be careful of is making sure that the layout of your new set of data matches the old layout. Otherwise you may end up formatting things you didn't mean to format. So I'll show you one more example. And this time we're applying formatting to an entire worksheet. And here's the worksheet that I'd like format applying to. And as you can see, there's absolutely no formatting on either the numbers or cell backgrounds or even the dates there at the beginning. So if we go back to the spreadsheet with the formatting on, to select the worksheet, I simply click to the left of the A and above the 1. And you can probably see the little arrow there on that cell. When you put the mouse pointer over it, it goes a slightly darker shade of grey. Click on that cell and it selects the entire worksheet. Click the Format Painter and that obviously activates the Format Copy. Go to your new worksheet and click in the top left cell A1. And then now I'll just click away and you can see there formatting has been applied to the entire worksheet. So duplicating whatever formatting was on the original to the new one. And the nice thing about that is it also copies column widths as well. So that's something to bear in mind if you are spending lots of time trying to match column widths between spreadsheets. OK, there you go. There's a couple of examples of how to use a format painter. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.